Hello there, Pastor Reed from Online Bible Church. Thank you for joining me today. A little bit of a history lesson is going to happen, and we're going to talk about the Exodus, the Red Sea crossing, and why most Bibles have their maps wrong. Here's a pet peeve of mine. Now, I've done a lot of Bible reviews, and most Bibles that have maps in the back don't even show a Red Sea crossing, and that is extremely unfortunate because the Bible is very, very clear that there was a miracle there, that God parted the Red Sea so that they could escape, and then as the Israelites that came in behind them, um, they were trying to, to catch them, um, when they started across, they were drowned. The Bible makes that very clear, so I don't understand why maps... Like, for example, this one here, don't show the Exodus crossing through any water. And that is very unfortunate, because honestly, there's a message there. There is absolutely a message there, and that is when you're backed into a corner, and you're between a rock and a hard place, God can provide a way. What a wonderful, uh, encouraging message that is. Now, um, so most Bibles don't even show the Exodus crossing. Now, I have with me here uh, Ruckman's reference Bible, and the maps that are in the Ruckman Bible, um, I believe he drew himself. Um, they're not very detailed. Um, they're not the best maps ever, but, um, you know, they're, they're, they are good. Kudos to Ruckman, because he does show a Red Sea crossing, but unfortunately, it's in the wrong spot. Where was the actual um, Red Sea crossing? Well, I have here the Reader's Digest Great World Atlas. And I love atlases. I love looking at maps. I'm going to try and get this as close as I can here and still stay focused. So... We've got the Red Sea here. Now, there are two little, uh, the, it forks up here a little bit. And what we have here is the Gulf of Suez and the Gulf of Aquaba. There are two gulfs that come up out of the Red Sea. And it's still the Red Sea, but it, it's, there are two little gulfs here. Now, Ruckman in his Bible showed them crossing here through the Gulf of Suez, and I do not believe that. I believe that the crossing was over here, at the Gulf of Aquaba, and here's why. Um, there was some research done, and some archaeology done in this area here, and um, the they studied um, underwater, and they noticed a topography of that gulf was there was a high spot right in here, right in the Gulf of Aquaba, about two-thirds of the way up. And Ron Wyatt, who is a Seventh-day Adventist, so he doesn't rightly divide. He's got some trouble with his theology. However, he's done some great um, archaeological research uh, with dinosaurs and, and that type of thing. And the affirms uh, creation, young earth creationist, which I am, uh, studied this area here and actually found that there's a little ledge under the water. And on that little ledge, there were many chariot wheels discovered. Some of them had uh, four crosses. Some of them had, or spokes, some of them had six but they were all found in this Gulf of Aquaba area right here. Now, I am not dogmatically saying this is where the Red Sea crossing was, but I'm saying the evidence shows that that is a very, very, very strong possibility. Now, why can we absolutely say that all Bible maps are wrong? Well, if they don't show a Red Sea crossing of the Exodus, they are wrong by default. Absolutely. Um, Ruckman's reference Bible does show a Red Sea crossing across water, but it shows it over here. Um, I doubt it based on the, the archaeology of Ron Wyatt. I believe it was all over here in the Gulf of Aquaba. 
So I'm hoping that you found this interesting and you can do a little bit of studying into that yourself. There's some videos on YouTube that talk about that. Um, and until next time, God bless.